Sahih al-Bukhari, The Book of Jihad, Fighting for Allah's Cause, Chapter on The Superiority of Jihad and the Statement of Allah Almighty. Verily, Allah has purchased of the believers their lives and their properties, for the price that theirs shall be the paradise. They fight in Allah's cause, so they kill others and are killed. It is a promise, in truth, which is binding on him in the Tawrat, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel, and the Qur'an. And who is truer to his covenant than Allah? Then rejoice in the bargain which you have concluded. Up to, and give glad tidings to the believers. Qur'an, chapter 9, verse 111, verse 112. Narrated Abdullah bin Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him. I asked Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. O Allah's Messenger, what is the best deed? He replied, to offer the salat at their early stated fixed times. I asked, what is next in goodness? He replied, to be good and dutiful to your parents. I further asked, what is next in goodness? He replied, to participate in jihad in Allah's cause. I did not ask Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, any more, and if I had asked him more, he would have told me more. Footnote Al-Jihad Holy fighting in Allah's cause, with full force of numbers and weaponry, is given the utmost importance in Islam, and is one of its pillars on which it stands. By jihad, Islam is established, Allah's word is made superior, His word being La ilaha illallah, which means none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and His religion Islam is propagated by abandoning jihad. May Allah protect us from that. Islam and the Muslims fall into an inferior position. Their honor is lost, their land is stolen, their rule and authority vanish. Jihad is an obligatory duty in Islam on every Muslim, and he who tries to escape from this duty or does not in his innermost heart wish to fulfill this duty, dies with one of the qualities of a hypocrite. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, There is no hijrah, that is, emigration from Mecca to al Madinah, after the conquest of Mecca. But jihad and good intention remain, and if you are called by the Muslim ruler for jihad, go forth immediately. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, that she said, O Allah's Messenger, we consider jihad as the best deed. Should we not fight in Allah's cause? He said, the best jihad for women is hajj mabrur, that is, hajj which is done according to the Prophet's sunnah and is accepted by Allah. See Hadith number 1861, Volume 3 Narrated Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him. A man came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, Guide me to such a deed as equals jihad in reward. He replied, I do not find such a deed. Then he added, Can you, while the Muslim fighter has gone for jihad, Enter your mosque to perform salat, prayer, without seas, and observe psalm, fast, and never break your psalm. The man said, But who can do that? Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, added, The mujahid, that is, Muslim fighter, is rewarded even for the footsteps of his horse while it wanders about for grazing, tied in a long rope. Footnote After the conquest of Mecca, there was no need for Muslims to emigrate from Mecca to al Madinah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, tells his companions that one can attain rewards through jihad against kufr, that is, to fight for Allah's cause when there is a call for it. Otherwise, one should have the intention to participate in jihad and this intention has the same reward as that of jihad itself. Footnote Regarding the statement, but who can do that? 
means, of course, nobody can offer salat, prayer, and fast incessantly. And since the Muslim fighter is rewarded as if he was doing such good impossible deeds, no possible deed equals jihad in reward.